Okay. Uh, my name is Sonel Velasquez. I'm the cinematographer for the Simone movie. I uh, came aboard uh, this project uh, around 2014, and uh, I had uh, bought a book called Simone. And uh, when uh, I read it, I said it was a very visual. It was a very visual book, and uh, I liked the 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 writer's world and the Chinese world, when they mixed together. I liked it, that combination. And uh, then, two weeks after that, I got a call from Betty Kaplan, the director, and uh, she uh, asked me if I could, uh, if I wanted to be the, the cinematographer. And I said, count, count, on, count on me, because uh, I like the book. And if I like the book, I'm going to like the, the script. So I came aboard that way. So what was the process like of developing the, the look of the movie? Well, I, uh, when I thought about the look of the movie, I before I think of a look of a movie, I like to see the locations that I'm going to shoot because the locations that I'm going to shoot mostly give me the mood of the of the of the scenes. And when I started seeing the locations and uh, and visiting the locations with Betty, I said, "Listen, this uh, movie needs to two things." It needs to shot, be shot with an optic that it's from those years, because I wanted the, the movie to feel 90s. Modern, but with the lenses of the, of the 90s. So I came up with the, with the idea of shooting it with the size uh, super speeds, 1.3. And gave me that gave me the texture that I really wanted for the movie, and since I had the the that sorted out, I decided to that I wanted to shoot very dark. I wanted to be dark. The interiors needed to be dark, not without information but dark in a sense that, uh, that when you go to tall color timing, you can go down with, with it. And, uh, but you still see the eyes of the actors and uh, gives you that, that, that deep, deep uh, contrast. And uh, that's, uh, that's exactly how we work it out in, during the shoot. And the camera move. Well, maybe the, the camera moves, uh, some w uh, were suggested by Betty, which she got a great eye for that, because uh, she knows how to move the camera. And uh, I wanted to shoot handheld some scenes, not all the movie, but I wanted to shoot handheld because I wanted the intimacy of being close to the, to the performers, to the actors. And that gave me that, uh, in some scenes, there are some scenes that have dollies, there are some scenes that had uh, 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 skateboards and all that, but when all the, the most of the, uh, of the movie was shot uh, on, uh, on the shoulder, even the, the love scenes, even the love scenes were shot with the, with the camera on the shoulder. It was because of the, we didn't have that much space in the room. And secondly, because I wanted that intimacy. And when you have the camera on your shoulder, you can react to, to what they're doing faster than if you are on a tripod, you know? And uh, that's, uh, that's one thing that uh, I, we decided really quick. And... Uh, there were some other scenes that we uh, designed very th uh, thoroughly, like the, the, the 
near miss uh, the the skid the skid and the near miss accident they were designed really well we had uh, all our uh, meetings and we talked about all the scenes and even the lenses that we were going to use so uh, so when we got to the set it was a matter of uh, of uh, one two three one two three one two three and we were shooting it was very easy. It was very. It was a very easy process, knowing that the the director was very keen on what she wanted, because there were some scenes that uh, we had when we we're doing the the table uh, table work. We thought about it in a different way than we shot it, and uh, that was based on maybe time maybe the spaces of the locations and maybe uh, uh, that she got the muse in that moment. So that uh, it's a movie, it's a very orga organic movie because uh, we planned it ahead what we were going to do, but on set we were reacting to what was happening in front of us the blogging of the of the of the actors and what they did and then we reacted to that which is was great because uh, if you do all the the table work beforehand then you go uh, and to the to the set and uh, you have the space to uh, to improvise that way i have a secret the actress Hong Jun Lee said that when she was doing a love scene, she saw you, tears running down your cheek. Yeah, yeah. I get emotional sometimes when, I, uh, when I'm shooting a scene, you know. Um, it's my nature. <laughs> so, now that you've seen the rough cut, I mean, do many DPs see the rough cut? Yeah, they do, because they have to time it, right? Yeah, but not... N I have seen all the cuts that uh, Betty had uh, worked out with Luis Colina, and uh, that's a luxury because uh, as a DOP, we don't get to, to, to see the movie edited until we go to the color timing, which is, without, we ha I had the luxury of, of, of uh, seeing it, all the footage. Before, before going to the to the timing, and uh, that gives you a, an advantage because n you have more time to think how you're gonna time it. You know, and there's sometimes that I, I mean, there's some scenes that I like the way they are, just enhance a little. There's some that I have to uh, tweak more, but there's some scenes like the like the Chinese restaurant that I would will not touch that beyond what it is because we shot it that way and we want it that way. So to sum this up going forward, is there anything you want to add that we haven't covered? Well, I just wanted to thank all the crew members that uh, that help us. They know who they are. Well, I have to say that it came down that the executive of film finance, one of the most important insurance companies in the world for film, said she had never seen the mo such a beautiful harmony between the director, DP, first AD, and the crew. Yeah. Yeah, we had a, an excellent crew. If I go to a war, I'll go with them. <laughs> <laughs>